Hello, I'm Steve Mitchell from Matter of Fact Software and in this series of podcasts I'm going to introduce you to our software, uh, version 2 of Kix.js Server and the subject of modern Kix web applications. On the subject of modern Kix web applications, clearly they need to have sophisticated user interfaces. They should be reliable and scalable as well as secure and must be easy to construct and manage. And in order to achieve those sophisticated user interfaces that we also enjoy using, they need access to open source resources such as the Dojo Toolkit, jQuery, YUI Library, MooTools and several others. So to talk about the challenges that we face in this arena, well firstly JavaScript can alter the basic web browser functions and as such is a potential security risk. And how do you get Kix to do all of this? Kix is very capable of being a web server but significant expertise uh, is usually required to achieve the desired result. Of course there's the inertia in the mainframe operations arena, there's a reluctance to try anything new and change is always carefully managed. Uh, there's a diminishing pool of Kix experts available, and they are perceived as expensive. And is, as ever, there is a desire to make things cheaper to create, run, and manage. Our solution to these challenges is a software product we called Kix.js Server. Version 1 simply served up the Dojo Toolkit. However, we've moved on, and in version 2, jQuery, MooTools, YUI library, and several other of the more popular open source JavaScript libraries are served up alongside the Dojo Toolkit. We've also included uh, the ability to define and serve bespoke content out of the Kix.js server in version 2. And there's a facility that allows you to construct, uh, manage, and operate novel new Kix web applications using the software. So we think that uh, Kix.js Server makes it simple to achieve business objectives and to overcome many of the challenges that we see in operating in this arena. Okay, what we'll do next is to demonstrate some of the uh, features of Kix.js Server version 2. We'll show the, uh, the status display which shows uh, which toolkits are configured and uh, we'll take a look at the directory structures of those toolkits and indeed the contents that served. And uh, we'll take a brief look at some of the IVPs and samples that we've included to demonstrate the power of these toolkits and libraries. So we'll go to our web browser and firstly apologies for hiding so much of the screen from you but for security reasons I have to hide a number of URLs. Hopefully you can see enough to get the gist of what I'm saying. So we're looking here at the Kix.js server uh, status display which shows all of the toolkits and libraries that are supported and how they're configured. The blue numbers that you can see represent the version and release of the toolkit and uh, these are hyperlinks and um, the little squiggle that you can see is a hyperlink too. Clicking on that squiggle will show the directory function for the toolkit in question and uh, you can toggle twice to show both the listing of the directory structure of the toolkit and indeed turn them into hyperlinks and if you click on a hyperlink of course then you're shown the content of that uh, toolkit member. Okay so now we'll look at some of the IVPs starting with the uh, Dojo toolkit we'll choose the uh, 1.7.2 toolkit and everything you see on the screen uh, will be will have been produced by Kix application using the Dojo toolkit and uh, we'll just look at a simple example or two amongst these if you want a, a comprehensive demonstration uh, just give us a call and we will give you one happily uh, the next one we'll show you will be uh, I think jQuery UI where we have a, a draggable type uh, entity on the browser Okay, finally we'll just take a look at the D3JS uh, JavaScript library and the capabilities that it has. Um, I quite like this one, it, it shows the power of D3JS to produce uh, graphics 
and um, if we click that and have a look remember all of this is coming straight out of Kix all the data, all the JavaScript and uh, I think that's it's quite a nice display of the power of D3JS quite how you would use it in your business I, I wouldn't like to predict but uh, maybe you can think of some use for that type of functionality Kix.js server is simple to install easy to implement and to use and clearly can serve popular Dojo, jQuery, etc. open source toolkits from Kix on the mainframe, bringing the strengths of the mainframe to the use of those resources. A free trial of Kix.js server is available. Simply go to our website and all we ask for is your email address and you'll then be directed to our downloads page or uh, just drop us a line and uh, ask us for one. If you would like to keep in touch with what we're doing, uh, you can follow us on LinkedIn, on uh, Facebook, and indeed on Twitter. I'd just like to quickly acknowledge IBM's own trademarks. Please now seek out and watch the second podcast in this series in which we will take a look at some of the sample programs that we supply with the software that demonstrate how these open source toolkits can be used by Kix application programs. Thank you.